What up, peeps and peepettes? Morbtron back today with more Warframe. And a quick update on the game. I am slightly less noobish. Um, you know, I've, I've watched a couple guides on the YouTubes and um, have figured some stuff out on my own. Figured some stuff out with uh, the help of my buddy Casper. Um, but I've, I've been doing some MR farm. Um, making some weapons just... To, to, to farm MR, making my first Forma, right there, um, I'm making my first Warframe, or my first crafted Warframe, Rhino, uh, I got about three days left on him, making another, you know, companion just for MR farm, making my, well, I have a Titan Extractor, I'm making another one, uh, a Master Rank 5, which is nice, um, I've gotten a few... You know, I'm, I'm leveling up my Volt, which was my starter frame. Um, since I got Frost Prime from Twitch Prime a couple weeks back, um, I immediately switched to that frame because I thought it would be better. Well, it is. Frost Prime is amazing. Um, I leveled up Frost Prime all the way, so I went ahead and I, I bought a Warframe for my friend Casper, and I bought one for myself. Um... I know it's pay to win, pay to unlock, whatever, what have you. I bought myself an Interos, and I bought him a Chroma, because that's what he wanted. Um, and then you know, I've got my Frost Prime, I've got my Atlas, and I've got my Volt, which I'm currently leveling up for MR farm. Um, I've gotten, you know, I'm leveling up the Lado, because again, I got, uh, I didn't get a free one of those, but I, I did, I immediately bought like a, a Kunai, and made those. I bought a, a Vasto blueprint and made that, um, and I just kind of been avoiding the Lado, so I'm leveling that up for MR farm. Um, I also got myself a different weapon, a Cronin. I do love, like, I've been trying out, so I got I got my Sindo Prime for free from Twitch Prime, at the same time I got my Frost Prime. Um, I bought the blueprint and made the Galatine. Um, I just got done making the Fragor and the Amphis. I haven't really leveled up my bow because, again, as soon as I got that, I was like, hells yeah, I'm going to use that. Um, but I really do love me these Cronin. Um, I got them maxed out. Got the uh, Tonfa Gemini Gloss going. It's it's the only one that I have. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. I like it. I'm still getting used to the whole combos thing. You know, I, I just got this yesterday. Um, so the combos are kind of a new thing for me in this game, but I've got them with corrosive damage. Um, I don't know if these mods are correct for this weapon, but they're the best that I have right now. Um, you know, attack speed, they probably don't really need those on Tonfas, but, um, I don't really channel with my weapons, so I figured critical strike chance is nice, and then... 60% critical strike chance from True Steel as well. A little bit of comboing there. Um, of course, I got my Death Cube, which I've leveled up. But yeah, I'm going to hop into a defense on Mars, and we're going to see... You know, I, I, I just got to 10 on my Volt. Uh, we're going to see how well it can do in, in a Mars defense. So yeah. All right. So we're in, we got into an in-progress one, I'm not sure what wave we're on, or if he just started. Um, but really, I, I I don't really like the shooting in this game. I don't like third-person shooters all that much. Um, so, like, I don't, I just don't like the over-the-shoulder angle for shooting in games. I'd much rather, I'd much prefer first-person, even though you can see a lot more in third-person. But I do like the third-person meleeing. Um, and I'm getting used to the movement in the game, you know, using V and jump. Um, but I'm just kind of getting kind of getting used to the the controls here. I mean, I'm I'm using you know mouse and keyboard, and uh, V for crouch. You know, you can use left control as well. But either of those options, like I'm already using that those two fingers for something else and I do have a Razor Naga mouse so what I'm thinking about doing my thumb sits at about seven on my Naga and uh, 
I'm thinking about making I, uh, Crouch as 7, because you use Crouch so much in this game for movement, for doing slide melees, and having to hit V and then E with the same finger isn't really intuitive for me. I don't know, it just doesn't... It adds a little bit of lag. Like, this is about as fast as I can do that. And with... And on a different mouse, or a different button, on a, for a finger, or my right thumb, that I'm not using for anything, um, I think that would greatly improve it. Um, now, I could try using a controller as well, you know, just US being my Xbox controller or something. Um, but, eh, it's... Once I eventually get into the PvP, I can guarantee you that using a controller is going to be somewhat of a hindrance for the shooting. Um, you know, even if I do use mostly melees, because I do love these Tonfas, this Cronin. Um, I know it's probably not the best weapon. I've watched some weapon ranking videos, and they didn't rank these all that high, but ranked them as decent for the few videos that I've watched. Um, I, I really enjoy using them. Um, I'm sure there are much better melee weapons out there. I know the whips are pretty pretty strong right now, but I haven't gotten my hands on one yet. Um, so, once I do get one, though, I'll kind of have to see how that works. I do have um, the stance mod for pretty much everything now. Um, the last one I had to get was uh, Tonfa and Heavy Weapon. Um which one of my clanmates gave me because he had extras. So, that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, so I don't really, like, I don't really concentrate on using my abilities too often, um, unless this stuff gets really difficult. I don't know, I'm sure a lot of people are that way, but I, I just love slashing people with these tonfas. It's super, super fun. <laughs> It gets, you know, a bit repetitive, but, um, you know, the, the the slide spin move does a ton of damage with these things. It's just, after this match here, I'm probably going to remap the crouch slide button. You know what? Oh, okay, you just got shot. Oh, you just got stabbed. That's me getting up off the ground. Sweet. Um, you know, for movement, as far as that goes, I mean, having V as crouch isn't that bad, because generally I'm just moving forward when I want to do the little slide jump to increase my movement speed, but it's, yeah, not great, and I know there's a lot of great weapons, and I have a pretty decent machine gun. Um, and I just got the Boltor. Not sure if it's good or not at all. I haven't watched any guide videos on primary or secondary weapons. Um, but I do really enjoy the Kunai. Um, and so far I've enjoyed the machine gun. Um, I don't really enjoy the... the Mark I that you get from the beginning of the game. I think it shoots too slow. It's not really fun. Uh, the Mark I pistol okay. Um, the revolver that I forgot the name of. Um, I'm bad with names and things, guys. Um, it's, it's, it's got a lot of recoil. Not, not a super fan of it. Um, but it was good for MR. Definitely will not be doing, going with the, uh, twin revolver weapon uh, until I need the MR for it, though. That move right there is just so much fun. There you go. Volt is up to 11. But really, like, Volt for me right now, I mean, one seems really powerful. I like one. Being able to chain lightning between people. It's really good, especially for a one. A lot of the one abilities... Where people don't really seem that strong. 
I've I've found out Fighting. through YouTubers. Um, Volt has a pretty so. powerful one. I, two, I'm not like, why why would I use this when I can do this? You know, and it might it might stack. Who knows? But it doesn't seem that noticeable. Um, it doesn't take that much energy, and I might be using that ability wrong. Probably am. Um, and maybe there's an augment for it that makes it not terrible. Who knows? Um. The three ability, the shield seems kind of gimmicky. I haven't used four yet. I just unlocked it just after the last mission I did, and I haven't hit it during this recording. Let's hit it now. Oh, cool! That does a thing, uh, but it kind of leaves me in a ball. They don't need knee caps anymore. Down with your kneecaps. But three seems kind of gimmicky, but you can pick up your shield, so can run at people. Seems like it might be decent for closing a gap to melee somebody in the face. You know, so they don't just gun you down. Or maybe to block an ability. So I'm not sure if people get shocked by me just running into them. Doesn't seem like it. My death cube just zapped somebody that was not in shield. So, I mean, yeah, that, can, that might be useful in certain scenarios, like uh, maybe assassination missions or something like that, but... Eh. I don't know. I haven't really used this Warframe too much, other than when I first started playing the game, and the one mission that I played before I started recording this, before I got the tab, so... But, I do love me some Tonfas, and it doesn't really matter what frame you're on. Those are still fun to use no matter what. You get shocked. You still alive? No, you're not. Good. So, and these, these Tonfas do work. Let's just... Oh, that guy got nailed to the wall. Let's slice and dice you just for fun. So, yeah. I mean, that's super fun. Um, I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at with the game. I'm having a blast. Um, it's definitely... You know... I, some of my friends kind of compare the game to Destiny 2, and I really don't... like. I, I love both games for different reasons. Um, I love the first-person shooter aspect of Destiny 2. Um, I like collecting all the guns in Destiny 2, that sort of thing, and I, I think the item collection is, is definitely a thing in this game as well. Um, but there's so many different, like, classes in this game. Um, you can build your Warframe your character pretty much however you want to, um, you know, early and mid-game, it seems like. And as long as you can kill the things and not die, you know, you can do whatever. Um, in D2, you kind of don't really have the freedom to customize your character's abilities all that much. Um, or its playstyle. It's kind of, it just is what it is, and that's that. I haven't done the PvP in this game, so I cannot compare how that, how it feels in this game versus D2, um, but we'll have to see. Maybe, maybe in tomorrow's video I'll do some, uh, some PvP in this game. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure which frame I'd take into that. Um, probably Frost Prime. But yeah, we'll see. So if you like this video, guys, please hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. I know I am nowhere near skilled in this game yet. Um, I don't know everything there is to know, but I'm learning. And I figure I might as well just take you all along for the ride. And uh, if you're a Destiny 2 player, like I mainly am, and you're looking for something to do while D2 is in its kind of a slump, or you want a game that's similar to look at and test out, this is a free-to-play game. Um, definitely, definitely worth spending some time on. And honestly, since it is free and you pay to unlock things and not necessarily pay to have the skill in it or pay to have the most powerful version of it, I'm fine with giving the developers of the game, you know, 35 bucks or whatever it was. Um, 
so they can keep on keeping on and making this game better. So, um, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. So, like I said, again, if you liked it, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel or you want to help me not lose my partnership with YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you have anything to say, if you have any, any tips, any tricks, any, you know, anything. Tell, tell me anything that I might not know about this game. I would greatly appreciate it. But do not forget to have a good day, everybody. And I will catch you all next time. Oh, oh, emote? Emote. Yeah, emote.